Good morning, folks. We've got stories today on lightning, ozone, solar storms, and rapid climate events. You are watching an active region incoming with plasma filaments trailing behind. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun brought considerably more surface motion. A few filaments popped as well, and this is how she gears up for sunspot maximum over the next three to four years. Speaking of solar storms, a lot of questions the last two days about the top story on NASA's version of solar science outreach. Veteran observers, stop chuckling. There's no way for new viewers to know they are always a month behind at this site. Here's the paper. We had covered it back on March 14th if you're dying for our analysis on it. But indeed, the sun is dangerous and overdue. Folks, we have seen so many of these papers about how ice melt at the poles triggers cooling and ice age conditions. They found pretty much the same thing here for the rapid warming events over Greenland during the last ice age, which didn't end the last ice age at all, but which all tossed us back into colder conditions. The difference here is they rely on global warming grants and funding at this organization, so instead of suggesting we are heading for cold like everybody else who's done this study, they'd rather just plead ignorance. And of course, the first study of currents under the quote doomsday glacier in West Antarctica reveals it's on its slipping point. Again, concerns over sea level are what we get in the paper, but in truth this would work the ice melt glacial triggering to intensify and bring the cold to lower latitudes much more quickly. Let's go to lightning and we're specifically focusing on upward negative lightning. This is what we said was going to be the most dangerous aspect of the electrodynamic changes in the atmosphere and it turns out Standard lightning protection is useless against it. This is what the weaker magnetic field of Earth is allowing to be more common and will get stronger and stronger as the field excursion progresses. There's no way to attack this situation as of right now. Last but not least, sticking with the effects of the weaker magnetic field, this will enhance polar stratospheric clouds due to increased attractive charge. And those clouds help break down ozone. Folks, the stories we've shared recently on the biological risk of these magnetic events usually end up focusing on UV, which would be explained by the mechanisms described here. Lightning, ozone, tipping points for the ice, super solar storms. It's remarkable how many intense events from the past are on the plate for the near future as Earth's magnetic field excursion marches on. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.